Hi guys, it's Irene um, coming to you with yet another review. So obviously I'm reviewing a Chanel piece today. I am going to make good on my commitment to review some more moderately priced pieces. Um, and you know, I just wanted to get this one out of the way because there is a story attached to it. So I figured I could tell the story and then I could move on and review some other stuff. Um, so this is for my Chanel Trifold wallet. Um, I'm not a person that carries like a lot of wallets. I only ever carry one wallet at a time. I like a plain black wallet that I will go with all of my purses. I like a full size wallet, which is why I have a trifold. I do have a Chanel card holder that I use as a wallet in my smaller bags. Um, but this is my true, true wallet. Um, with that said, there is a story attached to this wallet. I'm going to kind of blow through it because the story itself, like I want to talk about it in more depth when I'm ready in another video. But um, basically last year, my mother got, um, was diagnosed out of nowhere with stage four cancer. And she got sick and she died within a matter of months. And um, suffice it to say, it was the single most awful, I've only had one other thing happen that was nearly as bad. And, and I have to say, um, what happened to my mother was was monstrous. It was really terrible. And so she passed away and we had picked a funeral home that was nearby where we were in the valley. And um, they, it turns out she wanted to be cremated and have her ashes spread with like rose petals over the Pacific Ocean. And unfortunately, the people took almost two months to return her ashes. And out of nowhere, I got a call that her ashes were ready. Um, it was a day that my daughters had ballet, um, but I wanted to just go and get them. And so in my mind, I was just prepared to kind of go there, gather up the ashes and the urns, and then just take and just leave. And then like in the privacy of my own home, like sort through the ashes and you know, look at the urns and like do all that. Well, unfortunately, when I got there, um, the guy wanted to show me the ashes. He wanted to show me all the urns. I wasn't mentally prepared for that. So I became very flustered and I'm not always the best at speaking up for myself. Um, so I kind of just let him do it, even though it made me uncomfortable. And like I said, my daughters were going to ballet practice. So I believe I had four children with me at the time. I had my baby baby. I had the girls. I think I had four children with me at the time. And then my phone started ringing with people from my office. And then my baby started crying and he's like pulling out urns and trying to show me ashes. And I just got flustered. And so then we're just heading out and he's like, can I help you? And he's carrying stuff and I've got kids and I'm trying to pack everybody in the car. And I sit my wallet and my phone on top of my car and I just get in the car and I just drive away and as I'm driving away I realize I don't have my phone so I'm like oh and I stop and my phone is still stuck on top of the car I don't even think about my wallet so I go all the way into the next city to take my girls to ballet practice and I realize I don't have my wallet so this wallet had sentimental value to me because um, there was a period in my life after I got saved where, um, I don't want to go into it right now, but I had something happen and I, I didn't, I wasn't treating myself the best. Like I stopped thinking about myself and, um, I just focused on my children and in working and God, and I didn't consider myself at all but not in like a healthy selfless way in a like I just wanted to like block like me out um and not be cognizant of like what was going on with me and so when I came out of that stage and reached a healthier place um I started to try to do nice things for myself so I would buy myself like I liked silk so I would buy myself like silk dresses to wear um as you know I don't wear um, pants and um, stuff like that I would um, you know I just I tried to start taking care of myself I guess it's just what it comes down to and and I wasn't trying to do that before I would make sure that my children were impeccable 
and my home was as you know the best I could keep it but as far as me I just literally look like a homeless person so my daughters would be dressed to the nine and I would just look if you can imagine I would just look like a homeless person um and so anyway one of the things I did for myself is I bought myself a secondhand Dooney and Burke wallet and it stood out to me because because my mom was like a very elegant woman and had really opulent taste and was very worldly and traveled and she was a master diver and a mathematician and she was she was she was she was just amazing um people assumed I was the same way but I was actually like not I was actually just like a little closed up flower so um they would give me luxury things, but I didn't know what they were. So my mom would give me a gift card to Louis Vuitton and I lost all the pieces. Like I would shop and I would lose them. They didn't have value to me. I didn't realize that that was somewhat expensive. You know, um, the first time I was engaged before I got married, my fiance gave me Dooney and Burke and that's where I remembered it from. And so that's why I picked the wallet because I just love Dooney and Burke to this day. They are classic, their pieces are well made, they really stand the test of time. I don't particularly care for Louis Vuitton, I would never buy that as an adult. I think it's good for kids. But, um, you know, when it was time to get myself something, I bought myself two things. I bought myself, oh, and maybe I can grab one of the pieces. So I bought myself a Dooney and Burke wallet and it had the, and I bought myself um, the keychain, which this is how well this thing is made. I've had this for a long time and I bought it secondhand and it's a little ratted, but it's still holding up. This stuff is made so well. So the wallet had this same um, Dooney and Burke plate. And it was made of the, just the black on black um, print. And it had like a cute little kind of clasp closure with the plate was the closure. And I loved it. And so that's the wallet that I sat on top of my car that day. And I went back to look for it. Obviously nobody ever returned it. I never got it back. Um, everybody that I talked to was like, I've had this happen and somebody returned the wallet and I was thinking there are gift cards in that wallet. Um, it's a designer wallet, you know, even though it wasn't like Hermes or Chanel, you know, it was still a designer wallet and it was like, somebody's going to just keep the whole wallet. And sure enough, it was never returned. I drove back and I looked for it while my girls were at ballet practice and it was nowhere to be found. Um, nobody returned it. It was just gone so that was really unfortunate and I know that it was lost in the parking lot or right outside of the parking lot because I pulled out the parking lot and hadn't even gone half a block before I realized I didn't have my phone and my wallet wasn't on top of the car so um anyway about three-fourths of a year went by um, and I moved to Texas, which why I moved to Texas is a story I'll tell like in another video, but I moved to Texas um, and I had wanted to replace that wallet, but I was really taking my time kind of trying to figure out what I wanted to replace it with. And I ultimately decided that I wanted to replace it with a Chanel wallet, the trifold. And I couldn't find reviews on it, which is why I'm doing this review. Um, I don't know why, like a lot of people just didn't carry it. Um, I found it um, secondhand online, but I'm really nervous to buy like some sorts of thing. Let me put this down, I'm like playing with the keys. I'm very nervous to buy like some sorts of things online. So I wasn't really comfortable doing that. I decided to go um, over to the Chanel boutique in Houston at the Galleria and purchase the wallet there, which is what I ultimately did. So um, obviously I've already unboxed this. I've had this wallet since like October of last year. Um, and this is it. It is big, I know. It's the Chanel uh, Trifold. And oh, I love this wallet, I really do. It's absolutely stunning. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it came. So like I said, I purchased more than this wallet when I was there, which is why um, the bag is so big and my little, the little flower was bent, but I fixed it. Um, so it comes in a box like this. I kept the box um, because if I ever move, it's just gonna be easy to pack things up. So, um, I don't know if you can see this because of the glare, probably not. Yeah, there we go. So this has my receipt in it. This is my authenticity card. I might cut that out. <laughs> um, my care booklets. And then all of the, I didn't keep them all. Like every little nook and cranny of that wallet was like stuffed, but I didn't keep them all, but I did keep the black ones. I don't know why. Um, and then it came with this black, it's sort of um, a very sort of thick, not quite velvet material on the outside but it, it's velvet-like and then just like um, kind of gross grain, kind of a little bit rougher than gross grain filling cloth on the inside. So that's the box that it comes with. Now this wallet is a good size and I actually have um, had occasion to carry this wallet as a clutch because it is such a good size. Um, I am in love with the double flap. I I don't know that I'll ever buy it because I bought the um, Aspinall of London Lottie in black with gold hardware. If I bought the double flap, I'd probably buy it in cream or I would purchase it um, black with silver hardware, even though um, you guys know that I do have that YSL bag with black and silver. Well. Yeah, so I would probably get it black with silver hardware, or I would get it um, cream with silver hardware. But anyway, I just love the double flap, so the original black. And so um, I did get this wallet with gold hardware. It is not in calfskin. Um, it, it is the rough and tumble because I just, need something that lasts and I need something that I don't have to worry about. So the inner is calfskin, but the outer is not calfskin. And I just love it so beautifully and perfectly made. I never really, oh, I do have something. I was gonna say I never really put anything in here, but I do have something. It's just so hard to get in. Oh, I have my lawyer's, um, her card in there okay and then it just opens up it's a tri fold like I said it looks like I have a little smush on there but I got it off <laughs> so it opens up like this I actually don't have um, let me go ahead and take I have a triple-a card for Texas and one for California but let me take those out because I actually don't have pretty much anything in here now because I'm carrying the small one um, so there is stuff in here, but not all of my normal stuff. So, um, yeah, if you can believe this thing practically looks new, but I've had it for almost a year now, but I will say you'll notice, and I'll probably do a wear and tear when I have had it a year that this started poking through wider right, right away. Like that was kind of frustrating. And these obviously started loosening. You can tell which ones I use the most right away. I like that it has lots and lots of pockets. So if you are ever in Europe or other places that have like larger bills, um, it's got a holder perfect for those larger bills. Obviously it's got several holders appropriate for our American money. So there's this one. And I just have all kinds of like cards and receipts and 
I have everything in here, honestly. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that one. Then there's the coin. I have a few coins in here, but I just obviously need to clear, clean my wallet out because let me take this out so you guys can see the actual. So you don't have to look at my trash. You can see the actual inside of the wallet. So there's a penny still in there. And it's not an exact science, but I love the attention to detail. I don't know if you can see it's got the Chanel stamping. Don't mind my nails. I literally wash dishes 15 times a day. If you watched my vlog for today, then you know I literally wash dishes 15 times a day. Um, this is where the um, serial number is in that wallet. There's one on this side. So there's one at the top and then there's one at the bottom. And you can tell I have little hands. So I don't know if me sticking my little micro hands in there is a good indication of anything, but yeah, I'm only 5'2", so like my hands and everything on me is like a little small. I think I look bigger on camera, but yeah, I'm not. <laughs> um, yet another, more and more receipts. So there goes another one. And then yet another. <laughs> And yeah, I think that's all of them. So there's one, two, three, four, five pockets, and then the coin. Um, and then there's the back pocket, and it's made just like the double flap, it's made to have that, that look. So I absolutely love this. So as I said, I've carried this as a clutch. Um, you could string through, I would string it through the coin slot, like a gold chain. Uh, maybe I can demonstrate with like one of my ribbons, what I mean. This is like my Chanel ribbon collection in here. Maybe I have a shorter one. That one's kind of long. Yeah, this one's a little bit shorter. I keep all of my Chanel ribbons in that bag. I'm trying to keep the background pretty for you guys. So you could take, so just imagine that this is a, um, a chain instead of a Chanel ribbon. Okay, so you could take a chain through the coin part. Just to give you an idea of how big this is. Oh, hold on. Okay, sorry, that was my baby. So just to give you an idea of how big this is, I've tied this with my Chanel ribbon. And I don't know if you can see. So yeah, I um Love this. Um, so I'm saying I'm I'm doing it with a Chanel ribbon, but you could actually do this with like a gold chain. If you have a gold chain like from another bag that's detachable. Um, I've also worn this as a clutch because it's it's massive. Like, yeah, it's pretty big. So I've also worn this as a clutch. I think if you're not a person that carries um, bigger bags, this is probably not gonna work for you, but I like a full size bag. So this is perfect for almost all of my bags and I absolutely love it. Um, the price on this is around 1100, I believe. 
It was when I bought it. It could be more expensive because you know they love to raise their prices. So the price on this was ten fifty. Yeah. Um, without tax. So when I bought it, it's called the L Flap Wallet. And yeah, I paid a thousand fifty for it when I bought it last year. Anyway, yeah, here it goes. I will give you a close up. Stunning. It's just incredibly beautiful. Interior. One more time. It's, it smells, it smells like a cross between leather and ink. Isn't that weird? <laughs> okay. And so there we go. That is the Chanel Trifold or L Flip wallet. I think if you put in Trifold, you'll probably come up with it. Absolutely love it. It is a beautiful piece. It is a pricey piece, so I don't know that it's worth it for everybody. Um, like I said, this piece replaced um, a piece that had sentimental value for me. Um, it was, like I said, a Dooney and Burke wallet that I had bought um, at a point in my life where I decided that I was going to care about and take care of myself and that I was, I was deserving of something. Do you know what I mean? And... Um, I thought long and hard about this. I checked everywhere for what I wanted to buy. This was the wallet that I chose. And um, so yeah, it was a good, like I said, almost a year that I considered what I re would replace my wallet with. And this is what I chose. Um, if you love it, then of course buy it, but I'm sure you can get something just as lovely. I, like I said, I loved my Dooney and Burke wallet. So if you can find that, um, I would even recommend that one. Um, the only thing that I would say is probably better about this one, and I'm not gonna say that it's Chanel because that's that's not what's better about this one, even though it is stunning, um, that this is full leather. So it's much easier to clean and care for. And I will say that the calf skin is not getting scratched up on the inside. So that's good. Um, and the grain on the outside is very forgiving. My nails are kind of out of control right now and um, it's not a problem or anything like that. So with that said, that's the end of this review. I will also be reviewing my other, um, I'll be reviewing my Chanel card holder um, if you're interested in that piece. Um, it's a small leather good. But yeah, if you've been looking for a full size wallet then I would highly recommend this. I absolutely love this wallet. I don't carry it nearly as much as I should just because, like I said, I don't like switching between wallets. And um, this one, I will say this, because it costs $1,000 and it's a wallet, and I lost my last wallet, it makes me nervous to carry this because losing it, it would be like losing $1,000. Granted, the card holder is $500, but like I would be more devastated to like lose this and it's only a year old. Um, at least when I lost my other wallet, which I'm not happy about, um, I'd had it for many years and it didn't cost me $1,000. So I don't carry this as much as I probably would love to just because it is very big. I showed you it's practically a purse. Um, and if I left it somewhere, I would be literally sick. So, so there, there you go. I think that's my final say on that. I hope this video wasn't like 
all over the place, all over the place. Um, and that it was somewhat informative. If you have questions about it, just ask down below. And like I said, I'll probably do a wear and tear. In the winter, I think I'll carry this more. In the summer, it's like I don't even want to take a purse, no less a wallet. It's just awful in Texas. So I'll probably do a review after I've had it maybe another six months or so to give me a chance to carry it in, you know, weather that is less abnormal than, than the weather that we're currently having here in Texas. So with that said, feel free to check out some of my other reviews and I will also be posting some reviews for some items that are not quite as expensive um, before I post any more reviews on more pricey items just so that it's more rounded as far as what I'm giving you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.